Welcome to CFD Simplified. In this video, we are going to explore an exciting application of artificial intelligence in computational fluid dynamics. We'll take the fluidized bed simulation results from OpenFOAM, use them to train an AI model, and then compare the predictions with the actual simulation results. This could be the game changer in reducing the computational cost and speeding up the simulations. Let's get started. Okay, uh, so let's uh, see like how we can apply AI uh, and uh, how much close it can give the results to the actual one. Okay, so let's uh, go inside the fluidized. Uh, bed here so we have run the simulation if you have do, do not watch the python uh, script uh, video just go and watch it there we have run the fluid aspect tutorial use the python to uh, may plot the results of uh, this uh, of the of this tutorial of this fluid aspect tutorial okay so you can go and watch it and uh, from there you can just uh, you know learn how to use python and specifically in cft okay so right now we are also in this we are also going to apply the ai model in this also okay so uh, first we have to extract the result okay so for extracting the results you can do two things uh you you can use python to extract the basically we have to save the results in the spreadsheet okay so you can convert the results into spreadsheets via two ways first you can use python and second one is paraview okay i will suggest you to go with paraview because paraview is easier okay python uh, can take time okay because first you have to make the code and uh, second one it is like whether it will run correctly or not so or whether it is saving the results correctly or not so i will suggest you that you just use paraview so i'm going to use paraview only so let's open the paraview first okay uh, it will take one or two seconds to open yep it is open so i will just click on apply okay so specifically for uh, this fluidized form tutorial fluidized bed tutorial uh, uh, generally we have to you know make some point and then only we can get the results along that but here in this fluidized bed it is giving the results of all the uh, points like uh, if we go to the wireframe you can see that uh, it is it is generally it is giving the results okay so that is good for us we don't have to make any select any points or something do do something like that so what we will do we will just click on this part and we will go on in the spreadsheet view okay so here you can see that all the results are there alpha air alpha particles k dot air p p means pressure uh these uh, temperature of the air temperature of the particles uh, u dot air okay so by means uh, every result is here okay the value of every result is here in the form of the data okay so we can save it in the dot csv format how we can save it you only have to click on this option click on this and you will get one option okay you can give uh, any name like i am giving f1 okay i have already saved it fluidizedbed.csv I, I am again just doing it to show you all like how you can do it so f1 and press ok okay yeah, and here till uh, what decimal places you want to get the result so that is this number 6 is representing so we will get the results maximum up to 6 decimal places okay if you make it 2 so it will give you the results up to 2 decimal places okay so I will press ok I will keep it like this and then I will go inside the uh, in, inside the directory and here you can see that f1.csv has been uh, saved and if I'll open this, I'll just uh, ignore this one. You can see that we have the CSV and we have the value of each and every 
result which we want okay at each and every points of the mesh okay so these uh, this, this is the way to save the dot csv okay why we require dot csv why we require dot csv because currently uh, i have not developed that that uh, code that we can do that it can directly we don't have to save the dot csv it can directly you know use the points and uh, directly train the model and do it okay so for right now some manual thing is happening because we are just currently we are just seeing that okay how it is going to apply okay how ai is going to apply so the, the way for doing it uh, doing it is to have the data uh, and to save the data the best format is in dot csv format okay so that is why we are just doing this step okay so we have saved dot csv okay then what we will do we will just close this para view again open our terminal and here we will just write one you have to write the code okay so here you can see that one uh, one code is one uh, python file is there name as data.py this data.py contain the uh, code of the model plus it contains uh, no this is not this one no. model.py right yes yeah so this model.py code contains the uh, code for training the model and it contains the uh, you know uh, the uh, this uh, uh, the 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 code for comparing the results comparing the sim uh, the the results of the pressure basically this 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 model i prepared for the pressure only okay no we are not doing the velocity part we are doing the pressure part uh, so uh, for comparing the predicted pressure result which we have predicted while training the ai model and uh, the results which we have got via uh, running the simulation okay so th this is the thing so this is the code uh, i'm not going into that part like uh, uh, how we have uh, just uh, you know uh, 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 make the uh, code how 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 to write the code and everything okay i'm not going into that part because my aim uh, is to show you like whether ai is applicable into cfd or not and if it is applicable definitely it is applicable so how much up to how much closeness up to how much accuracy it is giving us the result okay so uh, how it will help us okay so this will help us we don't have to run the simulation we like uh, if we have to run the simulation compare then why we are doing it okay no this is the the ex this exercise is being done no if, if the same problem came to you for example the fluidized but same problem come to you so what you have to do you don't have to run make the mesh first 3d model then generate the mesh and run the simulation okay it, it takes time only you have to just give these some values and just train the model uh, in, in the python and the model will give you the results automatically you don't have to run the simulation completely okay so so this is the one this is the thing why the research is going on for the application of ai uh, or the data science in the cfd okay though it is uh, it will take much time in the cfd it is only you know um, ai can be applicable to other things it has reached to very high levels in other things but in cfd it will take much time because a lot of maths is being required and a lot of development is being required to make it applicable okay so this is the thing all right so i have made this uh, i will i will upload it on the google drive as i have done in for the python one i have uploaded the python script and given 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 you the link also so i will do the same part so this is the code it contains the training model and it contains the uh, this uh, the comparison also okay so this is this has been done and uh, i i used before i used some some other uh, other model for uh, to train but uh, uh, that model was not given giving us the good result so i just changed it to xgb xg xg boost okay so it is now it is giving us the uh, really good result okay 
so let me run it let me run it to run it you only have to type uh, python3 and you have to type the file so the file is model.py press enter and it will train plus it will show us the result yeah you can see that these uh, mean square error is coming up to like this and r score uh, if the r square score has to come as close as to 1 okay so it is coming 0.99 that means that our result is really really good our model has done very good work okay you can see in the plot also this dotted one is the predict predicted uh, uh, pressure which model has predicted the and this straight line which you can see the dashed line which you can see these line is the actual pressure which we have calculated via running the simulation and you and you can see okay some points are just running away that's fine but most of the points spe specifically in the starting most of the points are much closer okay i have not uh, uh, you know done the deep learning part okay i have not done the deep learning part but uh, uh, if you if I, I think if we go to with the deep learning it will come close okay so my my, my point was not to uh, you know uh, only 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 my, my my thought for making this video is to show you like how is is it uh, good to apply ai yes it is and uh, is it uh, it, it, will it give you the good result? Yes, it can give you the good result. You can see that only some points are more going away. Otherwise, it has it has predicted, it has given us the very uh, very accurate result. Okay, very accurate result. But uh, 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 you know, directly applying artificial intelligence is not. I, it will it will you know uh, help you, but. Uh, uh, before this you have to learn many things okay you must know about the things because if you do not know about those things the basic things of the cfd or any software then it will be of no use okay it will be of no use these running the uh, cfd running the model can be done can any computer science student can also do that okay there is no need of any mechanical engineer or any cfd engineer okay so yeah so so that is the thing but what i feel of what i feel of the application of the cft okay so i will discuss i will make a short video on on this part but what i feel is like ai should be applicable to remove the errors right now right now the focus must be to remove the errors which we got which we get while running any of the simulation Okay, like if you use any type, any software, Ansys Fluent, OpenFoam, any software you are you are just using, and uh, you are getting some some kind of error while modeling. Wh while okay, modeling you can do, but while meshing or while running the simulation, while setting up the things, and after you are running, you are getting some error. So, to AI should be applicable on that part. Okay, okay, this is the error. I'm gonna solve it okay so because to solve that error it takes much 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 time because no help is being uh, available everyone is doing new problem and if you if you stuck on the new problem then it will definitely you will be not be able it will take much time to you know uh, to to solve that problem okay so so that is the thing that is the thing i i, I personally feel that ai right now the C, the area where of the cft where this the the this thing can be should be uh, focus the application of the ai was must be like to how you can uh, how ai can successfully remove the errors which an cfd uh, user can uh, faces while running the simulation okay yeah so i just i just wanted to show you like how uh, CFD is being uh, how you can apply AI and uh, how close you can get the result. So I just made these things and shown you the result also. So we'll we'll end this video here. Okay. Uh, later on, I will just see like how much more application we can just uh, do and will uh, will I've not I have not have any idea right now. But if I'll have or you have any idea, you can just uh, give me 
and uh, so, so that I can I'll, 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 I'll be happy to make a video on that one okay so thank you thank you very much for watching this video thank you AI won't replace the CFD solvers anytime soon but it will be a powerful tool for optimization and acceleration if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe